Hi everyone, I am Arjuna Page today and I'm working in this quite large sketchbook. It's an A3 size and I've already uh, glued here a paper placemat that I have. I'm What I want is that part of the letters, the text, will uh, show through the layers that are going to come uh, next and you don't have to have something like that you can use book pages you can uh, stamp your, your background or stencil letters uh, or whatever you can whatever details little details you want to show through you can put on your first layer you can also if you have a printed a tissue paper also you can use so Basically, this is it. I just didn't want to waste time on uh, the gluing. <laughs> so I've got some acrylic paints here. I've got here, I this was deep green, uh, dark turquoise, indigo, and some, I don't know what this is, ice blue. Not quite, a, doesn't quite matter. You can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to take a baby wipe and I want to start smearing a uh, paint and I'm going from a uh, dark to less a uh, darker shade not quite concerned about where exactly everything goes just putting down the color it blends quite nicely and maybe I will add more uh, later right now I'm just putting this in and we'll see how it looks I'm going to stencil on top of it so a lot is going to disappear as I go with the layers quite fast this uh, method and I'm also blending in between just so it will be nice and I'm putting here more I want it darker at this corner and as I said I'm part of it is going to get covered so I'm not quite concerned when part of the text is disappearing and I'm also going to stencil on top so as I said this is just adding details okay yeah I like this now this needs to be completely dry I want to stencil on top of it and I don't want uh, the colors the from the stencil to mix with the background so I'm going to let it be and I'll be back I'm back so this is a uh, dry I want to stencil all over it now I was planning on stenciling all over with this uh, dark uh, purple but I'm not sure it will take here it won't be uh, so noticeable because this is quite dark uh, so I'm going to start uh, stenciling here and here I will start with this dark blue and we'll see how it goes I've also got here black and some dark a grayish blue and we'll see maybe a, the darker colors I will use in this area and here I will use the purple not sure yet so I'm going just to uh, start with this I've got some uh, makeup sponge here and let's start with this purple 
if it will go out. Okay, let's start with this. So I'm taking a little bit on the makeup sponge, don't want too much excess. And dabbing away. I will do a section to see how it looks and if I need to change color. And we'll see. So right now it looks nice. Let's let's see. This is a stencil with a little bit of adhesive in the back. It comes this way. It looks fine, so I'm going to continue. When stenciling with uh, acrylics, always dab the excess so you won't have too much on your sponge. Even if you don't have enough uh, paint on the sponge, it's better to go back uh, with more than have some spillage underneath. Even this is going to get mostly covered that's why I'm not I don't care about all the little details it's just another layer of adding interest to what uh, is coming on top okay So I can already see that here it's not quite noticeable on this uh, color, which is fine. I'm only going to uh, stencil a little bit here, to and again it really doesn't uh, matter what and where and which direction. I could also uh, have taken uh, stamps and stamped away really doesn't matter okay and I'll do just a little bit more let's change so I won't have the same details next to each other I'm doing a little bit more of this purple here where I still have the lighter a shade of blue and then I will change and if the darker uh, if the black or the uh, dark blue won't work then I will change direction and use something lighter because I have a dark background okay so let's change for this I'm just continuing, I'm not moving the stencil, I'm doing a little bit here with this dark blue and I can, I think it's not noticeable, no, it's not, you can hardly see it here, so let's try the black and if not I'm changing directions <laughs> okay black let's see another section if it won't work I will let it dry to switch to a lighter color okay let's see oh I like the black I am going with the black so I'm just going to continue on uh, stamping <laughs> stamping stenciling this all uh, all through my page and again there is no 
a the special direction I'm just going to cover the whole thing with this stencil and just flipping it so not the same details will be will be next to each other but that's it so I'll be back when this is finished and we'll go for the next layer I'm back so this is finished I also went over the uh, purple part here just to make everything more cohesive and I really really like it this black on all kinds of blue and turquoise and now I want to put the design the drawing the design that I wanted he, uh, to be here and it's going to be exclusion technique I'm going to put this I want to transfer this uh, here and basically all that we work for is going to show in these areas and all the other areas are going to be blocked so that's why i told you uh, some of it is going to get covered so now uh, <clears throat> most of the time i would use um copy paper a uh, graphite paper <laughs> or whatever you call it something like that to transfer this design to the back and but i don't know if it will work again i have a very uh, dark uh, background so i don't know how much of it will show now if you don't have a uh, graphite paper copy paper a uh, carbon paper uh, <clears throat> the other it uh, way to do it is to go on the back side with a pencil like 6b or 10b 12b the graphite is darker and uh, softer you just go over and flip it over and then trace your design and the graphite that is underneath will transfer now as i said it won't be shown because of the dark a uh, background now i'm uh, trying to figure out uh, how to transfer this and well we will need to experiment together i'm first i'm trying this is a chalk for fabric so i want to see maybe this will work i'm putting it here in the back don't know if it will work let's see if i'm placing it here and going over the line if it will transfer very likely so i'm thinking i'll just do this transfer the design and then we'll continue it's going to take me some time to go over everything with this chalk another way uh, is to use either white crayon or a oil a pastels white oil pastel or something that will show on a dark background i'm using this chalk because i'm hoping that when i'm go i will go in with paint with acrylic paint it will just blend in uh, i'm not using a crayon or um or the oil pastel because they will uh, create a resist that I don't want but now that I'm thinking about it I have a water soluble oil pastel so I can probably use this and it will just dissolve let's see again experimenting didn't figure out it will turn this dark I really like it but it wasn't in the planning so let's see how this transfers almost the same as this chalk so either way I'm going to uh, just a uh, copy that to my page and I'll be back I'm back so I've transferred it here and also uh, with 
just freehand uh, made some uh, leaves that I, I think will add to the hole with the same uh, pastel and now it comes to covering uh, what to exclude all the background now <coughs> first before I forget uh, don't get discouraged and say I don't know how to draw you can do many things there are all kinds of templates and designs free printables on the internet you can do whatever you want whatever and print it and take the basic a uh, shape and do whatever you want and you can also take a photo a picture and put a tracing paper and just outline a the basic shape and you will have the same thing so there are uh, endless options now for uh, excluding the background there are all a lot of ways to do it and I've already done a uh, in the in the past several um, videos uh, with the same technique only each time I use something else you can even uh, exclude everything with black permanent marker or any color that you want uh, you can I have, have here je white gesso and I have put a little bit of uh, the dark purple because I want to in several areas to vary the white of the gesso and you can go complete opaque or you can uh, do it semi opaque with adding water which is what I'm going to do here and basically it's up to you and I like to start very um, light like so and see how it works for me and if I feel it's not enough then I will add and now I'm excluding what I have here and leaving only the leaf that I drew so that's what I'm doing and again if it's not enough I'm adding but I can't or mostly I can't sub subtract from it so it's better to start lightly and see what works for you sometimes I like to go completely opaque with the background and sometimes I like that it's like this that I can still see some of the background the layer so we worked a lot of uh, and put a lot of layers and most of it is going to get covered but that's the way it is <laughs> you can decide that you can skip a layer that like uh, the first one if you feel if it doesn't show you don't need it then don't do it just put whatever you like so as you can see I'm just uh, putting down the gesso and what I've meant about adding the purple I will show you in a minute because even uh, this uh, doesn't have to be in co completely with the same color you can vary it uh, through your page you can exclude with changing the color it doesn't have to be completely white or completely purple or completely anything <laughs> so if I feel I want to vary it I will take a little of this purple and if I feel I want some shading or more interest here I go underneath it's hardly noticeable but still it varies what I have and I think it just adds more interest when you don't have a 
complete area in the same color but up to you so this is going to take a lot of time that's that's the way it is especially if you are using a brush and gesso if you are doing it with the cover-up the exclusion with a permanent marker then it's way faster and more accurate but that's the way it is right now that's what I'm using so I'm going to continue and as I said this is going to take some time and I'll be back when I'm finished as you can see I just added a little bit more purple underneath the branch like so and I will just start blend it with the white so as I said quite some time <laughs> I've got my work cut out for me so I'm going to continue and I'll be back. I'm back. So I am really, really uh, liking what's going on here, but I still feel it needs a more, a more definition. So I'm going to take a permanent marker, black permanent marker and go over uh, all this just to make it more defined and basically it will just connect with the black stenciling that I've done here so I think it will all go well together so once again <laughs> I'm going to go all over here gonna take me some time and i still feel i need a little bit more details i'm not sure what so i'm just as i said going to give uh, all these pieces some black contour and i'll be back i'm back so finished with the black marker and i was Still not uh, completely happy I lost most of what I had in the back in terms of the text it's still a uh, you can still see it through here but everything else disappeared <laughs> it happens so I'm thinking about stamping around I've got some text uh, stamps and I'm going to do it very very lightly it's not something that uh, is needed to to read it just to add to the hole so and I'm going sideways like I had the placement in the beginning and I think I'll even get it off the acrylic block and just do a partial print just a hint of text in several places yeah I like it and now I have this it's like a text, scribbly text really unrecognized what is written and let's see I'm thinking in several places like this and just quite random I'm putting it Let's flip it and go with the curve here. Whoops. And I 
now I really like it and this is it for me that's the page I hope you liked it I hope you'll try your hand at something like that and have fun thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now